Today we are going to discuss about Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is used to solve right angle triangles. This is continuity of O level crash course. So what is a Pythagoras theorem? If this is a right angle triangle and this angle is of 90 degree then the side opposite to 90 degree angle is known as hypotenuse and Pythagoras theorem says that square of hypotenuse equals square of the other two sides in a right angle triangle. So, hypotenuse square equals a square plus b square. Question number 1 is in this is a right angle triangle and this angle is of 90 degree. So, we have to find this unknown side which is represented by letter a. Now, first of all you need to identify hypotenuse which will be opposite to right angle triangle. So, hypotenuse is 25. So, applying Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square mean 25 square equal sum of square of other two sides that is equal to a square plus 24 square, 25 square is 625, 24 square is 576, 576 will be coming on left side, it will be subtracted the result will be 49, the result of 625 minus 576 is 49. Now, that is equal to a square. We need to find the value of a. So, we need to take square root in order to eliminate this square. So, taking square root on both sides. So, square root of a square will give you a while square root of 49 will give you 7. In question number 2, we have a right angle triangle in which hypotenuse the side opposite to 90 degree is represented by A while the other two sides are 12 and 5. Preferably this should be 5, this should be 12. Okay. Now, according to Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square that is A in this case because it is opposite to 90 degree. The hypotenuse square equals to 12 square and 5 square sum of 12 square and 5 square. So, 12 square is 144 and 5 square is 25 which will be equal to 169. Now, 169 equals A square but we need to find the value of A which is hypotenuse in this case. So, take square root on both sides. So, a will be 13. Third one is a question in which they have given you a statement and the diagram has to be drawn by you people. A rectangular park is 15 meter long and 10 meter wide. Now, this is a rectangular park. Its length is 15 meter. Its width is 10 meter we have to find the length of diagonal path. We have to find the length of diagonal path across it. So, diagonal is a line joining the vertices opposite well, this vertex and this vertex when we, you will join these two you will get a diagonal. So, diagonal in this case is hypotenuse of this triangle right triangle. Now, this angle is of 90 degree. So, if this is 90 then this diagonal represents hypotenuse because hypotenuse is opposite to 90 degree. This side is 10 while this side is 15. So, applying Pythagoras theorem diagonal square mean hypotenuse square equals sum of square of other two sides 10 square plus 15 square. So, 10 square is 100 and 15 square is 225 which will give you 325. Now, we need to find the length of diagonal. We need to eliminate this square. So, you can do that by taking square root 
on both sides so square root of 325 will give you 18.02 meter as length of this diagonal in the last question we have been given this diagram you have to find the length of ac and you have to find the length of dc now this angle is a right angle represented by this symbol now if this is a right angle this complete one then the side opposite to this right angle is ac and side opposite to right angle is hypotenuse so hypotenuse is ac so ac square applying pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square equals square of 20 plus square of 15 square of the other two sides now in this one i am considering this triangle ac square equals 20 square plus 15 square and this angle is 90 degree so you can find ac from here ac square will be 20 square plus 15 square which equals 625 and from here taking square root ac will be equal to 25 centimeter this one now dc this one can be obtained using this triangle this one in this triangle we have a right angle over here this one is right angle and if this is a right angle then this length 15 is the hypotenuse in this case so hypotenuse is 15 so 15 square equal to square of bd plus square of dc according to pythagoras theorem we know the length of bd which is 12 so bd is 12 so 12 square will be used now you can find dc when you will shift 12 square on the other side 15 square minus 12 square will give you 81 now this is equal to dc square we need to find dc to take square root on both sides so square root of 81 will give you 9 centimeter and square root of dc square will give you dc so this was about pythagoras theorem in the next lesson of our level scratch course we are going to study trigonometric ratios and uh, law of sine and law of cosine thank you so much